Yo, there was this little festival. It was called Toronto International Film Festival, and I saw some movies. Let's talk about them. One of the movies I saw was the new Steven Soderbergh film, The Laundromat. Steven Soderbergh doesn't always make great movies, but he's got a really interesting filmography. Some of his films are really mainstream accessible, and others are really experimental. He's definitely a director I keep up with, but I never really know what I'm gonna get. In this newest film, he makes something that has similar presentation ideas to something like The Big Short. There is an acted narrative at play, but it's also about real issues. Characters in the film will often talk to the audience to explain how these financial schemes work. Overall, it didn't really feel very special. Meryl Streep stars in the film, and she just feels like Meryl Streep the whole time. It tries very hard to be charming and have a personality, but it doesn't fully deliver in that sense. Much of the movie is honestly pretty boring. With how transparent and preachy this film is, I feel like they should have just made a documentary. The film literally ends with Meryl Streep lecturing the audience, and it just doesn't feel all that genuine. There were many attempts at humor, but it wasn't really all that funny. The whole experience was honestly just bland and forgettable. It hasn't been that long since I've seen it, but I've pretty much forgotten about it already. There's nothing in particular that really sticks out as being terrible. I can't really call it a bad movie, but it's definitely not something to be excited for. It'll be on Netflix by October 18th, so check it out then if you want. It's not the worst thing you could watch all year, but there are definitely more important movies out there. And I'm giving this one a 5 out out of 10. Another film I saw was Bakurao, which tied for the jury prize at Cannes with Les Miserables. This is probably one of the weirder movies you could see this year, and honestly it doesn't really seem like a jury prize at Cannes winner. It starts out as something you'd expect from a festival Brazilian film focusing on a small town, but as the movie progresses it turns into more of a comedic horror action thing. The majority of this movie feels as though it would have been more appropriately placed in the Midnight Madness programming at TIFF. I think probably the best audience to show this to would be horror fans. There's lots of blood and violence and gore and death. There are some metaphorical aspects as well, so perhaps that's why it's considered more of an art film. But those aspects were pretty obvious and didn't have a whole lot of depth to them. For the most part, it was just a bunch of fun schlock. Overall, I think the movie definitely succeeded at what it was going for. There are some outrageous and satisfying moments in the film, but for the type of movie it was, I kind of felt as though it was a little long. There wasn't a whole whole lot of depth to soak in in terms of characters and presentation choices, so when the movie takes its time to get things going, it doesn't really feel all that purposeful. Anyway, it was still enjoyable overall, and if you're a fan of blood, gore, and violence, then definitely check this one out, and I'm giving this one a 6 out of 10. Another film I saw at the festival was the new Takashi Miike, First Love. Miike has directed over a hundred movies at this point, which is just insane. Some of his better films include Itchy the Killer, 13 Assassins, and audition. Most of his films are not that great, but every once in a while he makes something fun and interesting. He says he's a director that always follows the script, so it makes sense that there's a discrepancy in the quality of his films. First Love is a movie where the script really allows his personality to shine. The tone of the film is much closer to Itchy the Killer than Audition. It's very goofy and fun. The ridiculousness of the film is something that the film is aware of, and it uses it to its advantage. The characters and situations in this movie are really funny. It was a great experience to watch this in a full crowd at TIFF's Midnight Madness programming. The film has a high energy and it never feels slow or boring. So much of it is just so over the top that it's impossible for it not to be memorable. If you're gonna watch this movie, try your best to watch it with friends. And if any of this sounds interesting, then definitely check out Itchy the Killer as well. Audition is probably my favorite movie of his, but has a much darker tone. So don't go into that one expecting some fun drunk movie. Anyway, I had a blast watching First Love and I definitely definitely recommend it. Check this one out whenever you can, it looks like it already has some kind of a release in the US, and I'm giving this one a 7 out of 10.